These are Colchester Zoo's bush dogs. They're really popular in the zoo. They've got the combined looks of guinea pigs and puppies with the attitude of a pack of wolves. This is probably the hardest large mammal to see in the Amazon rainforest. When we do our remote camera surveys, sometimes with hundreds of cameras out for months, we're lucky if we get photos of bush dogs even once. They really are few and far between. But maybe we'd do a bit better if we tried listening. They're always talking to each other with barks and growls and especially whines. They're always whining. It's a contact call that they use as they move through the forest as a pack, hunting down their prey and keeping track of each other in the dense undergrowth. So, if we put enough remote audio recorders alongside our camera traps in the forest, we should be able to hear them. And that's what we've done. Out in the Peruvian Amazon on recorders like these. But the recorders recorded for months and they're still recording. So we have tens of thousands of hours that we could never find time to listen to. And the dogs might have only passed one recorder for a few minutes during the survey. How can we find those calls? Well, what our students at the University of Suffolk have been doing here in the zoo is recording and characterizing the different calls that the dogs make. They can then look at the graphical images of the calls. We call them sonograms. And you learn to recognize the shapes of different calls. Bush dog calls have an interesting structure. We have a series of bars at different frequencies. We call these harmonics. A musician might call it complex tone made up of multiple simple tones or overtones. The students have used their libraries of calls to create a call classifier that can search through the remote recordings and find matches for the bush dogs. The algorithm does a pretty good job of finding the calls in the enclosure here at Colchester Zoo, but we know that the bush dogs are calling all day. In the Amazon, we're searching for a handful of these tiny little whines in tens of thousands of hours of recordings in one of the most acoustically rich environments on the planet. It's like hearing a needle drop in a field full of haystacks and you're not even sure if there is a needle. But if we can reliably do this and detect the bush dogs from further away than we can with our camera traps, then these might become a better survey tool for us. We can scour the rainforest for bush dog calls and perhaps start to build a more detailed picture of where they are and how much forest you need to support a population of these animals. And if the world can't be motivated to save the Amazon rainforest to stop climate change, then perhaps we can save the forest to protect the world's cutest wild dogs. <laughs>